Today I'm showing you how you can create a free server for Minecraft Java Edition. It'll allow you to invite all your friends everything free forever with Adernos, of course. Um, visit their official website via adernos.org. It's going to be linked down in the description below together actually with my Discord server. I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, getting right in on this landing page over here, you want to click on this play button right over there. This will bring you to their official page right here where you want to create an account. Now I do already have one so I can just click on login right over here. Then you'll be brought to the servers tab. Now I you, you probably don't have a server yet right so you can click on this create a server button right over here. Now we want to just select Minecraft Java Edition which is selected by default. Now you want to, um, this area right over here, this top bit, you can customize it by clicking on um, this edit button right over here. And this is going to allow you to change your server's IP. So what do you want to call it? Well, I'll just make my IP ism64 server. There we go. And then the .adernos.me, you can't change that. So honestly, that's pretty good. Um, there we are. And then this area over here, this bottom part, um, maybe I'll just type welcome to ASME64's server, just like that. Um, pretty simple, maybe ask you guys to subscribe. There we are, change the text color over here to a solid yellow, very nice. I can save this too if I wish to do so. There you are. Now you can click on create over here. Of course, that is all customizable. Great. So now we're over here and I'm just going to run through things. And um, then I'll show you how to start up your server, share it with friends and join it inside of Minecraft. So this is the, um, the regular page over here. This is the main area you want to visit. Then going into options over here, you have a few options that you can um, turn on, turn off. Um, you can turn them on through here. However, you can also turn them on in the in-game settings, um, just the regular settings area. Um, so basically, we have a bunch of things over here. You can choose to enable these, disable these. Um, as you can see, we also have the amount of slots, so players that can be playing at the same time. Now, because this is an Adernos server, I don't recommend anything higher than 6 if you want real good performance. Um, we have Xeraton over here, which is by Adernos 2. Um, it is paid, but it is a higher quality, of course, too, right? So if you want to play with 30 people at the same time, then I don't recommend using an Adernos free server. Anyways, I can just save that right here. You can change it to anything you want. You can also turn on a whitelist, which um, I will get into later once we've actually turned on the server. Anyways, we can check out the console over here, which is going to um, show us information about the server going online, going offline, starting up, um, and stuff like that. Here in the log, you'll be able to see things that happen in the server, mainly stuff that gets also put in chat so when a player joins when a player leaves I believe kills and stuff like that as well then um, we can also go into this software part, software part um, and of course we're using Java edition here you can uh, select to use different um, versions of mod packs of course um, for mods plugins um, and I'm just going to use vanilla for right now if you want me if you want me to make specific tutorials on uh, other versions and plugins and stuff like that then do let me know and I will do that here you can choose your desired version that you want your server to be for we can go over to this backups area right over here and this is uh, pretty cool you can actually connect your Google account and then what Adernos is gonna do is automatically um, every in some sort of time period back up the world or real server actually um, to your Google Drive which is definitely really useful if maybe something gets lost gets griefed well um, then you'll have older versions that you can restore saved in your own Google Drive so depending on what you're going to use your server for I definitely do recommend doing that now going back to the server area 
Because this is a free server, you can't just load it up and join it. You'll actually need to start it up, right? It's not going to be online 24-7. That's something that only, um, you know, you that's the luxury you only get if you pay for it. So it's pretty simple. We can click on this start button over here, click on accept, and then it's going to go ahead and start itself up for us. Now, depending on the queue and... Um, basically general wait times like just like internet connection they can take anywhere from 10 seconds to a minute or two um it's looking like it's going to be pretty quick this time so that definitely is useful there we go a little bit more than a minute later it has started up now do keep in mind that the first time that you start up your server it's going to be it's going to take a lot longer than uh any other time anyways as you see there is a timer right over here that is because this once again is a free server so this is how long it is going to be online for right after when this timer runs out it's going to be offline again you need to come back here and start it up again now once i actually join the server it's going to be online for an infinite amount of time then once every single player on my server leaves then what'll happen is this timer will resume and then eventually it'll uh, run out and the server will be offline then the next day you'll of course have to come back now for that we have this access tab over here let's say you want to allow your friend to be able to start up this server as well right that is definitely useful um, this way if you want other people to be able to play without you present or stuff like that they will be able to start up the server too all they need to do is create their own adrenos account and then you just need to type their username in here and then they'll also be able to start up the server through this area right here now in the players tab over here um you can uh, do a few things as you can see so in banned players over here let's start off with that Let's say um, you want to ban someone, well just add their gamer tag right in here, click on add, and now the person with gamer tag bully um, is banned from this server. You can also ban IPs, and you might have seen earlier that we had the option to turn whitelist um, on or off. I'll have it enabled for right now um, to show you exactly what it does. Um, basically what it does is right now no one is able to join the server, even though it's online. Um, because I have whitelist enabled. So now I can add, for example, um, my own username right over here click on add and now I am allowed to jo to to join this server right and now um, only people whose Minecraft username you've specifically added in this area um, will be able to join your server right that way you can control who joins and who doesn't um, now this could be useful but in most cases you won't necessarily need it um, because you know it's not like the information you need to have to be able to join your server is generally going to just be spread over all over the internet unless you do it yourself of course um anyways now let's get into connecting to the actual server so we can click on this connect button right over here and this is going to give us everything we need to know so the ip which you can change in my case it's it's, it's me 64 server dot and the port 12096 i can copy that um and now if you do wish to change your ip we saw it in the start click on that editing bu edit button right over here and you'll be able to edit that through here once again if you wish to do so now finally, you can also add ops. As the owner of a server, I highly recommend to add yourself as the as an op. Uh, basically, what this allows you to do is if cheats are enabled, you will be the only one um, who can access them. You'll be able to change other players' permissions in-game, use in-game commands, basically kind of moderate the server, I suppose. I've started up Minecraft. Make sure, of course, you start up the correct version for whatever um, server you want to join. We can click on multiplayer over here, proceed, um, and then what we want to do is click on add server. The server name, you can put anything you want over here. I'll just put it's me 64's server. There we are. And as for the server address, it was it's me 64 server server. There we go. Dot dot me. 
the server went offline so I'll have to start it up again. Anyways, um, something I meant to say earlier was you might have seen all the advertisements here. Um, usually I use DuckDuckGo which kind of prevents these advertisements in some cases. Anyways, I specifically turn it off for this occasion because really the only reason why you're able to host a free Minecraft server is because there is advertisements playing everywhere. Um, now I do understand that it can be annoying um, but I, I, I'm, and I'm also not affiliated in Adenos with, with Adenos in any way. Um, just so you know. But you know, if everyone uses an ad blocker, no one will be able to use the uh, free servers. So um, I do kindly ask you to just turn off your ad blocker for this. Now here we are. So it's me 64's server. That's the name I gave it. And here is this yellow titling, which um I did show you earlier how to get. So we can go ahead and join that right now. And right over here, we are in this world, which as you can see is um an insane spawn. I think uh, I'm gonna go to the village, which is totally on this tiny island. Um, anyways, as you can see, it just basically creates um, a random world for you um, to play in. You can also add worlds through the worlds tab, um, you know, in, in uh, Adernos if you do wish to do so. So, um, yeah, basically it is just really as simple as that, of course. Um, and now if you do have any questions or stuff like that, do f feel free to leave those down in the comments below. To share the server with your friends, um, really all you need to do is just uh, give them the information that I just typed in earlier. Um, for some reason, all my keybinds are gone, so my gameplay is horrible. Um, not that it was going to be good either way, but um, oh well. Anyways, basically, that was uh, exactly how to do that. Anyways, uh, yeah, chat, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.